Waders are very popular with bird watchers and this DVD has been specially filmed as an identification guide to British waders. To give you an idea of what's involved, here's the account for common red shank. The common red shank is the commonest and most familiar of the Tringer sandpipers. These are a group of medium to largish waders, often with a fairly long bill and brightly coloured legs. They nest further south than any of the other Tringer sandpipers, and although breeding birds are commonest in Scotland and northern England, they're a regular sight at coastal marshes in southeast England. Breeding birds regularly perch up on walls and posts. In summer they have dark markings on both the upper parts and their underparts. This bird was filmed in early September and although it has lost many of the dark upper parts markings, the underparts haven't yet been molted. In fact they're particularly dark on this bird. And as continental birds are more heavily marked than British ones, it's quite likely that this bird has come from the continent. Juveniles lack the heavily streaked underparts of summer adults, and the upper parts are neatly edged with buff. Juveniles have orange legs, not the red legs shown by adults, and the bill has an orange base. At this age they can be confused with rough and wood sandpipers, but a combination of neatly spotted upper parts, orangey bill and leg colour isn't shared by those species, and common red shanks also have unmistakable wing markings. Here's another juvenile. But this one has completed most of the molt into winter plumage. In a close-up, the contrast between the remaining juvenile buff-fringed wing coverts and the plainer back feathers of winter plumage is quite noticeable. There's a suggestion of a pale supercilium and quite a noticeable white eye ring. Upland areas are vacated in winter, and although some stay in land, they're much more numerous at the coast, particularly on estuaries. Winter plumage is rather plain grey-brown, and lacking any conspicuous features apart from the red legs. Those red legs and the red base to the straight, medium length bill are important identification features. Look closely at the nearest bird in this trio and you can see its legs and bill base are noticeably redder than the other two. That's because it's an adult and the other two are young birds in their first winter. This is the only wader which combines a white bee extending up the lower back with a bold white patch on the inner wing. The white on the wings and back are obvious in flight. This is a particularly noisy wader with loud ringing calls. 